in this video tutorial i am going to design this oil pan gas kit for the engine project design the units are given in inches so let's start it first of all verify your units so you are working in the correct units i am going to start my sketch on the front plane click on sketch and click on the front plane and then i am going to draw a sketch similar to the drawing don't worry about the dimension we will add the dimension later first I am going to design a sketch this line is not uh, horizontal we needed to make that line horizontal I am going to click on it and make sure it's horizontal and add this relation horizontal now I am going to dimension it so dimension from here to here is given at 8 inches and dimension from here to here is given as 5.5 inches and we needed to center that sketch so I am going to center it by adding some position dimension the dimension from this to this we needed to make it center so I'm going to 8 divided by 2 and dimension from this line to this center is this dimension is 5.5 divided by 2 you know our outer sketch is basically centered and dimension from here to here this dimension is we don't have that dimension we needed to define the dimension for inner side so dimension for this is this dimension is 3.5 and this dimension is also given as 6 so I'm just zoom out my sketch and place the dimensions like that and again I am going to center it so dimension from here to here is given as 6 divided by 2 and dimension from here to here is given as 3.5 divided by 2 what happened this dimension is 3 3.5 this dimension is 3 okay, this dimension this is basically 8 divided by 2 and this dimension is 5.5 divided by 2 dimension is 5.5 and this dimension is 5.5 divided by 2 ok I just needed to make it like that position dimension just make sure you you added the position dimension correctly from this to this 3.5 divided by 2 there is you will see a lot of dimensions just make sure you 
draw them correctly and if there is something like weird happen just uh, like uh, drag them so I also needed to add some relation I am going to add the relation from this to this this relation make them and click ok and again add the relation this point this point and make them horizontal these two points are horizontal and now I needed to specify this the distance of that gap and this is 1.5 and then I am going to add a position dimension this must be half 1.5 divided by 2 so this sketch is done now I am going to add some sketch fillets so for this point this point this point this point and the radius is given as 1.25 click ok and again I am going to also add fillets here and for these the diameter is given as 0 0.50 so our sketch is done and basically we also have some cups here on both sides this to this distance distance is given as 2.0 and just zoom it this is given as 0.125 and position dimension for this this is given as 0 0.250 what else is left what else is left yeah now we needed to add some relations this line and this line have same dimension dimension for this this dimension is divided by 1.5 2 no it's fully defined our sketch is fully defined we just needed to make some trims so select the closest trim we don't need this part and this part no our sketch is complete and these all greens are the sketch relation you can also go here on view tab and hide these uh, relationship if you are using the older version of uh, this solid work there is also a view tab and you can hide it close this sketch isometric extrude it and this extrusion is given as 0 0.025 click ok now again I am going to start my sketching start sketching and for this time I am going to select this face for my sketch plane and go to normal view now <coughs> I need to draw some reference lines to add the holes and to do that basically I, I am not going to add some lines I am just going to offset the existing geometry so click on offset and for that offset I basically wanted this line this line this line this line this line sorry this line this line this line this line this line for my offset and I'm going to make that reverse and this is given as 0 0.325 
click OK. Now I am going to add a line, a horizontal line. Make sure the lines are horizontal and one line vertical. <coughs> and I am going to make these lines for my constructions, just for my reference. I don't want these lines to involve in my sketching. And I am going to draw some. I'm going to draw a circle here, here, a circle here. And I needed to draw a circle on here, but on this point, on this midpoint of that arc. This is the midpoint and the symbol of the midpoint is also showing. So to start my uh, circle from that midpoint. And I'm going to dimension it. This dimension is given as 0 0.266 diameter. And I'm going to add a relation between all these holes. Select this hole, this hole, this hole, and this hole of the circle. And make them equal so they will have the same diameter. And then I'm going to add some position dimensions. <coughs> sorry dimension so three dimension from this to this this dimension is 1.25 1.20 and dimension from here to here this dimension is 2.150 and from here to this center this dimension is given as 0 0.750 so we added these four holes now I am going to mirror them so to mirror them I need you to select the circles which I want to mirror and then I am going to select the reference mirror about on which axis I want to mirror I want them mirror with the reference of this axis and okay so whole part of uh, uh, these holes holes are mirrored with this reference on the other side and again I am going to select mirror and select these all eight holes one by one or you can also select the box selection like that and then mirror it about so these holes are added, exit this sketch, go to isometric view while the sketch is selected, Extr cut extrude and through wall and make sure your direction is correct. So this is done and one thing, one thing I forget to add in first sketch. So go here on both extruded, expand it, go to sketch and right click and edit the sketch and go to normal view I forget to add to remove material from here to here and this is 1.5 and from here to here this is 1.5 ok it's the reference is already added this line is facing this line so we don't need it to like add the position dimensions starting from here to here the half dimension because it's also the relation is added and from here to here this is 0 0.250 and now I am going to trim this this part to make my sketch a whole sketch and exit this sketch now our model is done this is oil gas oil pen kit and the material is go to materials and rubber and ok material is added 
thank you so much please subscribe my channel and comments if you have any issue if you want to recommend me something any suggestion please let me know thank you so much